Good afternoon, internet type people. Luke and I are in the car to Stratford upon Avon. Is that where they live, right? Again? Uh, pretty much. Pretty much. Around that area. Um, to meet some more of his family, his Uncle Matt and his Aunt Liz. We're going to a place called The Fish. Here they have like a baked cheese, and I'm mm -hmm, very, very happy for this. I am wearing my favorite shirt today, so it's automatically a good day. I love this neckline and I love the keyhole on it and I was searching for a shirt like this for so long and I found a TJ Maxx in like the dead of winter. It was like, doesn't matter, still gonna buy it and I'm gonna wear it at one point. In case you're wondering, which you might not be, but other vloggers I know do this and it really interests me, my lip color I'm wearing is my new absolute favorite lip color of all time and I'm going to go repurchase it as soon as the sample is done. I had Sephora points. You know how that happens. They're like, well, you could get one of these. And usually I don't see anything, so I just keep saving them. But this time there was a Bite um, lipstick sample, but not that small. And Bite is one of my favorite lipstick brands. I only have, well, two and a half. One of them I have is like two sided. And I love it. So I saw this and I had to get it. I didn't really look at the color, but I was like, sure, I'll get it. I love lipstick. And it is called uh, Gl Glace. Glace, like G L A C E with the accent on it. Glace. For me, this is probably as neutralized as I would go because with my blonde hair and my pale skin, I feel like I just disappear if I don't have a lip color on. So, love it, and as soon as this is gone, I will repurchase it. And I don't think I've ever even considered repurchasing a specific lipstick I've ever gotten because I just like to change it up, but this is definitely my favorite. So, um, yeah, Luke's driving. We're on our way there. I finished editing the video from yesterday, uh, this morning, and just um, downloaded it, downloaded it, did I import it? Saved it, saved it onto my computer. So when I get home, I can upload it, and then that will be up. And so starting again today, and I'm also working on, it's not really work, just organizing the workouts that Leah, shout out Leah, you're my favorite, sent me um, her workouts from the different classes she does, and I need to find a way to work out here. Because, I, yeah, again, I probably gained like five pounds since being here for a week, which is ridiculous. And I haven't worked out this summer yet because I didn't, I don't know where to go. I went to CrossFit, but I don't know if I'm going to go back to that. So, just working on that. Um, yep, yeah, we're going to go to lunch, and I will check in with you later. <laughs> Rose hasn't come yet, has it? Not yet. There's a lot of people here. Though. There are. We're excited though. We had a coffee and we had some cheese already. It's really nice and strange here. This is, is apparently a Sunday rose. Very confused by all of this. You said lamb. Have a Yorkshire pudding. That beef, that beef, sorry. Just a pile of meat. Okay, now we're outside that pub. Oh, it's very echo in here. And I'm in a tunnel because we're right by a river and I have pims because England. Uh, Luke's whole family's here. His mom and dad like walked into the pub unexpectedly because that's how small the little village is. Um, as you saw from the footage, I don't know if you saw it that well, but that place is decorated insanely. Like they were just like, let's put that there. And they did. Zebra, the walls in the bathroom were cheetah print. Wallpapering. I don't know. Um, probably the best place I've ever been to. Roast dinner. It's like freaking Thanksgiving, and they have that. They have that every week. I couldn't eat it all. I couldn't even half of it. It was too much. Uh, also, Yorkshire pudding. My he, Luke says my Yorkshire pudding was bad though. It wasn't. I don't think it was cooked. It just tasted like raw bread. It was bad. So yeah, it's really pretty out. It's lovely. There's a. There's Luke, and there's just a river that runs through past the pub, and everyone is just outside enjoying the day there's nice bunting because again everything's like a friggin party here the kids are outside playing there's dogs drinks pub dogs. this is the, the pub dog one dog who is just the pubs which is the life of a dog just to be by a river and get love and affection every day just sharks just typical i don't this place is strange and i love it luke's uncle well Oh, has a dog. And the most beautiful garden ever. There's just, it's huge. Their house is so nice. 
it's just so pretty. It's called, um, the house is named, it's called Quirk's Madhouse, because their last name is Quirk, which is fantastic. And um, apparently, um, Matt is Edward Scissorhands and has uh, cut all the topiary and the, the bush in the front is um, shaped like a train now, which is just fantastic. Absolutely lovely here, lovely here. And the house is, um, most houses here are like double houses, like a duplex. So this half, and then they have a little addition is theirs, and that half is someone else's house, and that's their garden. I love it here. It is absolutely gorgeous. There's a nice little meadow. That just happened. We just drove by a person on a horse, on a country road. Also, this road isn't big enough for two cars. Looks literally just driving down the, oh, this stresses me out. said he wanted to show me something and it's the best present of all time. Oh, look what's in the field, it's an alpaca! You guys have no idea how much I love alpacas. Are they llamas? They're llamas. That's a llama, that's not an alpaca, that's a llama. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> Luke! You, oh, and those are little mini horses and a donkey over there. Look how pretty it is, and that is rape. That's the yellow. So after Luke showed me the llamas, we drove to Redditch, which is where uh, Michelle, no, which is where Michelle's sisters? That's where Luke's sister and her wife, Becky, live. So Becky and Michelle live there, and they just moved there in January, and Luke hadn't been yet. So we went and saw them. So, oh, that's a whippet. Oh, God damn. I love it. If I had to have a dog, which, you know, I don't need to need or want one. Oh, my God, look at it. Oh. Is that your dog? Oh my god. Okay, just got really distracted by that dog and had to stop filming to go pet it. That poor, the poor <laughs> owner thought anyone, I was very strange. I've never seen you actually pet, stop and pet a dog before. Yeah, I'm not a dog person, but because they're they're more like cats and their fur isn't all gross. It's very thin and not that dog-like and I enjoy it. Okay, so we were at Michelle and Becky's, chatted to them. They got me some candy, which was so nice of them. They actually had like, all this and they're like, what have you not had? And I was like, I've never had any of it. It's all new. So took some of that home because my head hurts, my stomach hurts. I think I ate too much and I drank too much tea and had too much water even. That is a thing that's happening. And so we're driving back home, almost at Luke's house, and I saw a playground. I'm not gonna play on it, but it looked so freaking massive. I told Luke we had to stop and go look at it. So that's where we're going right now. We're on route. We on route. It just looks nice. Everybody's in the park and people are playing cricket. Like croquet. Oh no, not cricket. Croquet. Like freaking Alice in Wonderland. Hashtag British people. How you feeling, Luke? Fantastic. I'm tired. Same. It's been a long day. Yeah. And a lot of sun too. Yeah, I don't want to play on any of it. I mean, I do, but I'm not going to, but like, it's just so fun to look at. Playgrounds were not like this when I was a kid. Trampoline. This is huge. Trampolines. So there was a plaque at this park just to read up on some of the history, and this building behind me is a pump house, which is like a pool, bath, kind of area built in the 1800s to rival the one that's more in Cheltenham. is like a spa, because um, it's called Cheltenham Spa. Like hot water, thermal stuff. Um, so they built this one, and this was like the rich suburbs, and this park was not, was only open to the people who lived in the houses around this, and you'd have to pay to come if you didn't live here. Um, it was really interesting. It's really nice. It's just, it's just gorgeous here, and everybody outside their families. <sighs> England. Stop. Stop. Hello again, everyone. Uh, we're home now, and Luke just made dinner again, because he's superior in the relationship. Um, he made a lemon pasta. My dad actually made it when we were home and so Luke tried to redo it because it was so good and Luke did a really good job. I'm not feeling well. At all. Like I feel really sick. I knew I should I, I should have had some food so I did. But it was a mixture of like, do I want to eat or do I want to throw up? Really fun place. We have a really bad headache. I just feel really sick. I don't know what happened. Weird. So, I'm actually just going to go put pajamas on and read some Harry Potter and go to bed now. So I'm going to call it a day, solid day, five, six? I don't even know what, what's well, like, tomorrow I've been here a week, so that's crazy. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to go to bed now because I'm going to get up early and try to get a lot of work done tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be a really, really, really boring vlog. But I will see you then. Good night. I'm back. It was very, very hot upstairs because of that air conditioning thing I mentioned. That, like, the, the, they don't have that here. We're dying. So, we are down in the lounge with the window open with an inflatable bed. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, there's a, we've ordered a fan, so that should be coming. But until then, I am not sleeping upstairs because it's just instant sweat. And Luke wants to sleep down here too, right? It's not just me. Is it be me being terrible? No, I'm going to play PS4. You're going to sleep and I'm going to sit here playing Go. That's all three. Fair enough, because I love to watch me some Dark Souls. Okay, for real, this is good night. See you guys all in the morning. <laughs>